Good evening. Welcome to 7 at 7. It's good to have you with us tonight. Um, we are on a new series. Um, we are on the series of Relentless Grace. And uh, if you didn't get a chance, please go and listen to that from Sunday morning. Pastor John brought this new message to us on God's relentless grace. And we're so thankful for that grace, aren't we? And uh, I wanted just to remind you tonight of some highlights of the message that he gave. Some things that stuck out to me were in John chapter 1, verse 17. The law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through the Lord Jesus Christ. So thankful for his grace. And thankful that through that grace, we are no longer held under captivity to the law. For the law brings shame and the law brings blame. But God's grace brings unconditional love and forgiveness. And the law talks about what man should be while grace reveals who God is. And the law demands righteousness, but God gives righteousness as a gift. It is a gift for him, not a demand. You know, Ephesians 2, 8 tells us that, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So grace is a gift that he freely gives, and grace is a free favor of God. It's his eagerness to use all of his ability on your behalf. God gives you all that he has available, even when we don't deserve it. I'm going to say that again. God gives all that he has available, even though we don't deserve it or we haven't earned it. We don't have to earn his grace. I'm thankful for that tonight, that I don't have to earn it because there's nothing I can do, nothing you can do to earn the grace of God. Grace blots out our sins and will not remember our sins anymore because the blood of Jesus is his grace. He willingly sacrificed his life, gave up his life, shed his blood that we could have that life and it more abundant and eternal. So no sense of blame. There's no sense of shame. There's no wrong in God's righteousness. And since God made you righteous and me righteous, there is no wrong. He doesn't see any wrong in you and there's nothing wrong about you because he has made you righteous. And I'm so thankful that God is never wrong. He's not holding anything against you. God is not wrong and he's not holding any wrong or any shame, or anything against you that will keep you out of his goodness, out of his righteousness, and out of his grace. So grace is God's unconditional love, and it is undeserved, but he willingly has given us that. So God's grace is free to you and to me. And now we are to be free from that grace, from a sin consciousness, always having a failure consciousness, like we're, fa we're failing or we're not gonna make it or we're not gonna get through. But God says he wants you to have an expectant an expectant righteousness because he's made us righteous and he's given us his free grace, this gift of free grace. He wants us to expect life. He wants us to expect his favor. He wants us to expect his blessings. You are grace empowered and you are favored by God. Yes, you are grace empowered and you are favored by God. No more sin, failure, consciousness. No more are we sin, failure, conscious, but we have been given this grace, this free gift, and this right to be in God's presence, to have a relationship with him, and to call on all the benefits that he has provided to us through his precious shed blood for us. And I wanted to remind you of a scripture that just came to me um, right before... I came in to start this tonight. It's out of Romans 6, verse 14 and 15. It says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law but grace. Sin shall not have dominion over you and me, because now we're under grace, no longer under the law. And since sin can have no dominion over us, then that means that sickness cannot have dominion over us. Disease, 
Um, Satan can have no dominion over us any longer. Fear can have no dominion over us because we are not under the law, but now we are under grace. And you know, God's grace is living and right now available. Like you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait to get things right in your life. You don't have to think about, like, sin consciousness wants you to think, well, I'm not doing it right, or, or I just made a big mistake, or I just lied to somebody, or I just, um, I, I messed up in something at my job, and I didn't tell the truth about it. Well, true, you need to make those things right, but the truth is also that God says you can receive His grace right now, which is an unconditional love which forgives you of whatever you did that was in sin. Whether you did it consciously or unconsciously, God forgives you and his grace is available to forgive you. And his grace is there to build you back up, to come and get close to him and stay in right relationship with him. So God expects us to live in his grace, to experience his ability on a daily basis and living in his grace gives us access to the God kind of life, to the God kind of faith, access to God's peace. He wants you to live in this peace daily and experience this peace. His grace gives you the ability to prosper and not be in lack. And his grace gives you the ability to be healthy and whole and to be blessed so that you can in turn be a blessing to others. Well, this is good news, this grace that God's given. And of course, that grace, as uh, Pastor John pointed out, is relentless grace. So that means that this grace is ongoing. The grace of God is for you and with you and working in your behalf 24-7. He never runs out a free gift of grace for you and for me, we have something to really be joyful and rejoice about because God has blessed us with his unmerited, unconditional, loving, accepting grace. God bless you. Have a great week.